We have a spherical pressure vessel, which contains a liquid at 1.2 MPa pressure. Our goal is to determine the maximum normal stress and the maximum shear stress. We will also describe the planes on which these act. For a spherical pressure vessel, we know that sigma 1 will be equal to sigma 2. And these will be equal to the pressure times radius over 2 times thickness. So that sigma 1 and sigma 2 will be equal to 1.2 MPa times 75 millimeters over 2 times 2.5 millimeters. So that they will be equal to 18 MPa. We can show this point on the plot here. Let's say that this point is 18 MPa. Now let's find sigma 3. Sigma 3 will be equal to 0 at outside and minus p which is equal to minus 1.2 MPa and the inside. So on the outside sigma 3 will be 0 and on the inside sigma 3 will be minus 1.2 MPa which is this point. So we will have two shear stress values. On the outside the shear stress will be equal to 18 minus 0 over 2 which is 9 MPa. And on the inside it will be equal to 18 minus minus 1.2 over 2 and it will be equal to 9.6 MPa. So we know that this point will be 9.6 MPa while this point is 9 MPa. So as you can see the maximum normal stress will be equal to 18 MPa. And the maximum shear stress will be on the inside and it is equal to 9.6 MPa. Also, we can say that the maximum normal stress will act on the planes which are normal to the surface. And the maximum shear stress will act on planes which are 45 degrees inclined to the inside surface this time because we observe the maximum shear stress on the inside.